Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we did a lot of things that uh, that were going to cost us, obviously. Um, the turnovers, the uh, mistakes, but we did more. We, we did more positive things late. You know, defense kept giving us a chance. You know, we got some stops. Um, you know, and then the offense needed to come through. They came through. And, you know, it, it doesn't have to be that hard, but, uh, you know, I got, I'm proud of the, the character of this football team, you know, competing and then having it go in a different direction real quick uh, and then coming back and getting stops late and, uh, you know, being able to move the football uh, late in the game, score, and uh, was uh, really proud of these guys. That's it. The, the whole thing was about getting the drive stopped. And we said that, uh, you know, they're probably going to get it down there. Um, that's just what the nature of this offense is. And, you know, we've done so, so well down there uh, with sudden change, unfortunately, that I explained to them that, hey, even if they drive it down there, just pretend that it's sudden change and that you guys were the ones that were responsible for the sudden change and have that type of mentality that, hey, we're down here. Uh, and we got to stop. And um, you know, guys were excited. That was the difference in the football game. You know, being able to, to, to force them to kick field goals. Well, we had a tough time running the football. You know, and we had too many mistakes. Uh, but but we also, you know, were able to protect the quarterback enough to throw it uh, late in the game. And. Uh, you know, that was that was key. You know, Tajay helped us out, Chig helped us out, Hop came up big, you know, Nick came up big down there and you know continues to do that. Well and just realize that I think that they uh, that it's never over. You know, again being able to, to, to keep our timeouts and you know being able to to, to score uh, and get the two point conversion, you know, to be able to have a chance to win it uh, in regulation. Uh, it's all the credit to the players. You know, we try to give them our best plan, and um, sometimes it needs to be tweaked as we go along, and sometimes it doesn't. And you know, they stuck to it; they believed it. You know, and all the credit goes to the players. Yeah, I think they all were. You know, and being able to answer back, and and again, the. the you know, kind of the just the, the disbelief, you know, the excitement of getting a stop, you know, getting the drive stopped on third down and celebrating and then one minute uh, mistakes and uh, but just line them back up and keep playing and having a lot of time. And I think it just says a lot about uh, this football team and our growth. And, you know, it's not going to be easy, especially on the road against a good team on on Monday night. But, um, you know, I'm proud of the way that they compete and they, they fight and, you uh, you know, we just got to eliminate some of the mistakes that, that are going to be too costly most of the time. Mike, is this what makes coaching fun? Nobody gave you guys a chance to come out here to play, to win, to celebrate. Yeah, I mean, I think just coaching, watching players improve and watching players be happy uh, and share in, in success is what coaching is about. It's about, you know, getting players to develop and improve and uh, inspire them to go out and get better each week and compete against a really good football team. and. You know, there's a lot of guys out there that people aren't real familiar with, and uh, that, that's that's the facts of it. And uh, but they'll 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 fight, they'll compete, and that's why I love them. Well, I mean, it's not open. I mean, you're not going to stand there and wait it out with with Chubb and everybody else coming and Wilkins, and so I think he did a nice job of kind of knowing when to 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 escape. Um, we're certainly going to have to need to, to, to use great uh, decisions, you know, going forward on uh, some of those collisions uh, d down the field. I guess Eric, you saw your conversation with him. What did you tell him and how you're doing? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's aggressive and there's reckless. And that, that to me is, is reckless. And again, we, we've coached, you know, catching it on the first bounce. We've coached, you know, being square. We've coached not, not, catching that if there's in traffic, you know, but sometimes there's an opportunity to, to catch it on the first bounce when there's not, you know, bodies around. And we have to use better decisions uh, when we're back there. And again, 
Eric's caught the ball well. Uh, and we just can't make that kind of mistake. And I said, but you're also going to have to go back out there and catch the ball and, and be our punt returner. And so, um, you know, we just have to make really good decisions with the football. Well, just, you know, again, I, I think that the, our ability to run the football and our success is, is, is eventually going to be very critical. And so, you know, being able to also, you know, throw some shots and move the football and, and protect is also something. And, uh, you know, I think that's just the way that the game, you know, Tim felt like we needed to kind of mix it up there and change it up. And, you know, I wasn't having a whole lot of success to their credit, you know, in, in a run game. Yeah, I think that's just, you know, in the research that we've done and, you know, the analytics and give you the best chance to win in regulation is that, you know, you go for two there, like the call, and that's how it goes. You talked about how the main guys, TK McClendon, Phil and Virginia, for Jeff Simmons tonight. These guys, do they want nobody better to see how they play football? Probably not. You know, I think that just, you know, we're working in a rookie left tackle, you know, against a really good player. And I thought he competed and, again, uh, gave us an opportunity. And TK's out there battling and, you know, Jaleel. And, you know, Kayvon hadn't been all that, here all that long. And, you know, Roger goes down, Eric goes in, Roger comes back. And, you know, again, there's just a lot, you know, Calvin Throckmorton played some at right guard and Brunny played. and. So we'll just keep, you know, find out who we have available and get them ready to try to beat the Texans. Uh, you know, I think sometimes you, you, you sometimes second guess, I think, when you're, you know, it, it just it different, different moments. And then you remember what, what you've, practice, train, preach about the resiliency, about our effort. And we've got some some great leaders that have been around and, and helped us win some, some really cl tough, close games. And, uh, you know, you just got to remember that you know, when you come on a road and you're, you know, whatever situation you're in is about giving yourself a chance. And we did that and make it a game and find a way to win it late. And I guess it was disappointing because we were doing that. And then, you know, the mistakes that put us down. And then, to the players' credit, they responded. And uh, because that—that's what you have to do. You got to make it a game. You got to put them in a game, and then find a way to win it late. And, and it looked like there for a few minutes that we were trying to lose it late. And, and then we, and then we were able to come back. When you mentioned, when you mentioned wanting to make it a game, would it be accurate to say that you wanted to muddy it up, slow down the pace of it? Well, I mean, you got to possess the ball. I mean, they average 32 points a game, and we we helped them out. Far, far too many times, but uh, you know you're gonna have to possess the ball. You're gonna have to convert some, some tough conversions, and uh, you know, we're prepared to go for it on fourth down if needed be. And um, but that's exactly where we were. That's where the game was, and get some stops on defense, and then you know, we just got to eliminate the mistakes. And you know, I'm sure we'll win more games. Well, that they'll play, they'll play their their hearts out for you. That, uh, you know, it's not going to be perfect. There's going to be mistakes. I Hopefully there's not too many and, you know, I don't want to make the same mistake twice, but I know that they're going to play their heart out for, for this team and for this organization and, and for our city. Thank you. Great, great player. Um, you know, just, again, my, 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 my heart and my thoughts go out to his family. I know his daughter. Um, she's got a special place in my heart, so. Deanna, we're thinking about you, and Cole as well, her husband. Thanks. No, that, was, that was awesome. Um, you know, I had to keep my composure there a little bit, make sure we finished the job, but I trust in our defense that they're going to get the job done just like they did all night. I mean, they, they won us that game tonight, and they shut down a really potent offense, and if it wasn't for those couple turnovers there in the red zone, um, you know, it would have been even more impressive. So props to them. Uh, and then, obviously, we, we were able to get the job done with uh, or our operational efficiency on those two two-minute drives. So I'm just pumped all around. What was your first 300-yard pass with the first call from behind 
Just trusting what I'm seeing, um, trusting our guys being in the right spots, and just you know throwing it to the open guy. And it's sometimes it's as simple as that. And our guys held up up front, felt didn't feel any pressure for the most part. And um, when that happens and we have time and, 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 and dudes are in the right spots, uh, it's a beautiful thing. And that's what happened on those two drives. We can obviously we can obviously hear the locker room behind us, but what's it like walking in a locker room like that, and, and how much of a relief in it? Yeah. Nice yeah. It, I, it stinks. I kind of got hung up on the field with the interview and stuff because I kind of missed the. I feel like the the main celly, but we're gonna have a fun ride home, and um, it's gonna be a celebratory 12 hours at least before we get our our minds, mindset on Houston. What did you do to keep your composure after misfire on the pitch? Yeah, yeah. I mean that was a nightmare, and um, you know, obviously, no one wanted to look at me. No one wanted to talk to me after that, and uh, and. Just to, to move on from that, or sorry, I didn't want to talk to anybody after that. I just wanted to move on and be ready to um, just attack that next two-minute drive that I know we'd be able to get. And uh, and I said that we'd put it behind us and we'd still have a chance, and we did. And I'm proud of our guys for you know bringing it and just uh, executing in that situation. Well, about 13, quarterback, what was your mindset though going back out there? It seemed like you were throwing the ball with confidence and knowing what you wanted to run. Yeah, I mean, I was just sticking to the game plan, just throwing to the open guy. Um, Trusting that, you know, I, I didn't necessarily need to be forcing anything, but you know, we need, we did need to get going. So that happy medium of, you know, pushing it down the field, but but throwing it to the open guy, and uh, luckily a lot of the stuff that we were dialing up were, was working, and um, was able to get the ball, you know, to a bunch of different dudes and keep them guessing. So just proud of all the guys and, and how we were able to operate. Shoot, I mean, yeah, uh, this is a big confidence booster for us for sure. I mean, this is not the you know record we would hope to have at this point in the season, um, not the position we'd hope to be in um, in the playoff race and all that, but all we can do is just keep pushing. And we talked about that all week, and we had opportunity to come and, and spoil their party and um, you know, be a really good football team and build confidence going forward, and, and I'm so glad we were able to do that. Um, yeah, I'm excited to watch that HBO yeah, episode. Yeah, throw down the field to, to Hopkins and like, the concentration of bringing in. It was a 45-yarder. Do you ever just stop and say, like, man, this dude is crazy? Yeah, that was, I think, yeah, that was the one at the two minute at the end of the half. Yeah, um, yeah and, and he, he tells me sometimes, hey, man, just throw it up to me. And I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, sometimes sometimes that's okay, sometimes it's not. But each and, each and every week I feel like I'm slowly <laughs> believing that sometimes it is okay just to throw it up to him. But, you know, got to be smart with it. And uh, he had him beat, and I think I underthrew it a little bit. And for him to just have the body control, just to kind of catch it or track it and catch it, um, you know, he's he's special in that respect. So, uh, so I'm glad that we were able to get him the ball as much as we could, uh, did today. You ran it more early. Was that conscious effort or just survival mode out there as well? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just playing ball. I'm just reacting. Uh, I think one of them was just was able to spin out of a sack and uh, it was really the only thing I could do. And then we're trying to throw a screen to Derek and the DN came straight up the field and almost turned into like a draw. It looked, looked designed, but um, it's just instincts uh, kicking in. Um, yeah, I mean, gotta, gotta be smart with, you know, using my body and, you know, maybe, maybe sliding here and there, but uh, I, I know I can use my legs and, and I gotta use them when, they're, when it's appropriate. Shoot, I'm, this is this is the biggest probably stage I've played on, so it's it's it's, it's probably the biggest game I've won. So, um, not not really, but it, it feels great, it feels awesome. Winning a football game, regardless of the stage, uh, is the best feeling in the world. Um, but this definitely makes it that much sweeter. What's it say about you guys? Well, that you did it with a 03 percent chance to win after the second turnover. Yeah. Exchange. Just just you know, trusting the process and taking it one play at a time, just like we're taking it one week, one game at a time. Um, you know. Nobody wavered. Sure, to, there were some shocked faces a little bit after that turnover, but we knew that we were going to get back right on the field and have an opportunity to go score. So, um, props to all the dudes who you know kept their heads high and um, had the confidence that we we're going to go and get the job done. How many of you hoping to be a building block and kind of finish the season strong? Uh, yeah, we got to use it uh, to to go and beat Houston next week. It, it's it's right on the Houston, and um, that's all we're focusing on uh, going into tomorrow. But this definitely is a big confidence booster. Uh, the fact that we're able to, to beat a team of caliber like that, uh, we know we can beat anybody. So um, definitely means a lot. Well, what can you say about the defense to get the ball back for you? 
Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, like I said in the beginning, like uh, they won that game for us. Uh, no one's played, I feel like, that, that offense as well as, as our defense did this season, if I'm not mistaken. So um, we, we gave them the ball there in the red zone a couple times. And um, for the most part, I just felt like, you know, they were able to, to make them pretty stagnant, uh, which is, is not what you see out of that offense. So um, really cool. Proud of the guys at, on all levels and being able to fight back like on that red zone series. Sean, I was, I was pumped for him on the holding call to then come back and make two huge plays to force the field goal. That's just the resilience that we showed all night uh, on all three, in, all, in all three phases of the ball game. Um, Eric dropping that punt, coming back and getting a nice little return, return there. I knew he was going to have an opportunity to help change the game after that, and I told him that. And um, we just got to be able to you know, take the good and move forward, and take the bad and move forward, learn from it, and uh, use the confidence from the good to, to go forward as well. Have you been watching the last part? I haven't, no. No, I'll watch that one episode.